Hey everybody, Christopher Rod here. Uh, today I have the privilege of looking at a game that is yet unreleased. It's coming out in early access August 11th. It's called Glitch Punk, made by Dark Lord and published by Datalik Entertainment. Uh, we play as this android in this dystopian cyberpunk-esque world. And uh, what attracted me to this and checking this out is it's got this style reminiscent of the old GTA games, top down. Many of you are probably too young to remember what that's like, but let me tell you, that was the golden age of gaming. Uh, stealing cars, running people over, getting wanted level. I'm telling you, that was the height. That's, it's all been downhill since then. So I'm hoping that we can get that same type of vibe going in Glitch Punk. Uh, thank you so much to Daedalic for uh, letting me do this early and sponsoring this video to show you guys. Uh, hope you get some enjoyment out of it. I'll have links down below if you want to check it out. And uh, let's just dive in and see what it's all about. Uh, this is releasing in early access, so presumably we're going to have all of these different uh, areas available uh, throughout the early access period. Uh, it does have a lot of branching endings and stuff, so uh, you can see in here some of some hints as to what those might be. And you might be able to revisit them, change some things as you go, I'm not sure. Uh, but we're gonna start in New Baltia. We've got a couple of very different bulges, and we're gonna, well, let's, let's pick the dude bulge over here. I'm a bit of a sucker for a nice ambient background track like we're hearing right now. I do, I, I feel like it's just good for, for setting the vibe. Now with a game like this, I feel like the controls are going to be really important. Uh, okay, funny enough. By default, you move your character with W, A, S, and D, left mouse to attack, control to switch weapons, space to jump, and escape. Okay, we got it. New message. It's not very polite to arrive without an explicit invitation, but here you are at last. So you've been found at the docks by the Bright Future Bridge, is that correct? Sounds about right. And where is it you think you come from, if I may ask? None of your business. Most certainly is my business, and we've identified the point of origin of your means of transportation already, so you'd better cooperate. That's not very good for either of us. You could pose a danger to our society. What's your name again? <laughs> okay, let's mess with him. I have many names. That won't fit into our registry form very well. Let me fix that for you. By my God-given authority, I declare from this point on, you shall be known as Texas. It will serve as a reminder that you'll forever be a stranger around these parts. So, Texas, I think we're on to something here. We will now begin the cognition test. It will let us know which citizen grade you fit into. Okay. Okay. Now, I hope in early access, I just, I hope that this gets voice acted. I think that would be great. Uh, say what comes first to your mind. Imagine a half-dead junkie lying right at the front door of your apartment early in the morning. Call the cops, drive him to rehab, or I don't know. I'm, I'm calling the cops. Correct. <laughs> they will surely know how to dispose of such an individual. Well done. A practical approach. Next question. This one will be a tad more challenging. You return home and receive a message that your mother has died. What do you do? Mother? What's that? Seems that that was the last question. Then I won't keep you waiting for a verdict. The test is over. By my decision as a commissary of civil registration, I declare you as a class D citizen. You scored exactly zero points on the scale of the cognition test. This denies you a human designation. You're an android, plain and simple. I wonder if that's uh, predetermined or if you can actually change that. You've entered this city without our consent, therefore you are an illegal immigrant and will be treated as such. The decision is final and cannot be subject to a plea or review process that law uh, is reserved for humans exclusively. Okay. You did attempt to trick us, Texas, but we are smarter, more experienced, and better prepared than you, obviously. From now on, you're our special debt contractor. Your existence will depend on your ability to effectively take the lives of others. You will not be marked for disposal as long as you keep paying us back with your work. Now, there's a group of disobedient androids who refuse to take the test we so graciously offer. They think they're better than you, Texas. Oh, they're gonna put us against other androids immediately? We'll keep in touch through your personal Neurocell from now on. Oh, that's great. Your first task awaits. You should probably answer the call. All right. So, contracts are the driving force of Glitch Punk's gameplay. Uh, they usually grant you money, but sometimes you might get something extra. 
Uh, once you finish a contract, there's no going back and your storyline will often branch off in a new way. Follow the arrows to get to a contract hub. Now, uh, talking about the title, Glitch Punk, and uh, what that might mean, if you read through the description of the game, it talks about how we are an android, but we have this ability that's called Glitch, uh, which lets us kind of override our programming. But that's really all that I know about that. Uh, left shift to toggle hacking mode. This allows you to alter the minds of people around you and strategically plan how you approach every encounter. Most hacks are object specific. They affect either characters, vehicles, or custom electronic devices. Hacking and ability usage is fueled by focus, which is displayed under your health bar in the top left of your screen. By default, use left mouse and right mouse button to activate the hacking modules in your left and right hand respectively. You can change those out by accessing the module menu. If you don't have any such modules, get one from a local pawn shop. We promise it's worth it. So I'm guessing, yeah, no valid hacking module. Oh, see, I like when games do this, kind of like uh, Watch Dogs, where you can get a little bit of background on all of these different citizens. Oh, sweet. I wonder how that actually works. We'll have to find a hacking module at some point. Okay, Ministry Royale. Uh, Ordo wants to evaluate you as a bounty hunter. Prove yourself. Leave this district without a sidearm and you'll be in trouble in less than a minute. Accidents happen all the time across New Baltia. Uh, get yourself a pistol. You have a solid argument for any disagreement. Okay. I do like that... So, first of all, the top-down vibe is... It's, it's very strange to be playing it in this day and age, but I do like it. It's a nice little throwback. Oh, did, is this guy robbing me? What the f What? This guy was just... What? What is going on? <laughs> Every crime you commit can raise your wanted level. This causes more types of law enforcement units and tactics to be used against you. You can decrease your wanted level either by completing a contract, the contractor will pay a bribe on your behalf, or by visiting a garage. Uh, this is probably not good. Yo! Oh, I can just buy up like a bunch of ammo. Oh, I get my money back. Okay, excellent. But now I've got a little bit of a problem. I need to buy a med kit. Vending machine on the west side of the temple dispenses medicinal supplies. Something that will most certainly help you with that. Okay. Let's buy a couple of these. Another nugget of wisdom for you. Learn to hate Texas and learn to repent. The ability to quickly recognize the difference between friend and foe is a must for any citizen here. Mistakes can and will be fatal. By Phoenix. Focus is the energy that you use to perform hacks in the cyberspace after pressing shift and to activate special abilities with right mouse button, which are granted by some modules you'll find on your way. Various items will replenish your focus level. Uh, you can also increase your focus regen as well as your focus drain stat, which allows you to regain focus bit by bit by dealing damage. Oh, sweet. Okay, this guy looks like he wants to party. The problem is... Okay, so... Well, it's quite obvious what the problem is going to be. Uh, did I not buy any med kits? Hold on. There's Phoenix. There we go. No, or maybe these get used automatically. Is that possible? Maybe that's what's been happening. Okay, I need to kill three unlucky androids that are all in this direction. Let's see if we can, like... Can we just steal any vehicle we want? A la GTA. Oh! Yeah, oh! Kind of. We might be able to. There's a cop. Maybe don't steal that vehicle. Also, maybe avoid that one. Maybe I'll deal with the furthest objective here. Let me run in this lane and see if the cars stop for us. What? Okay. Uh, we are automatically using the med kit, which is cool. I wonder if I fire at a vehicle, if it will stop. I think this is gradually decreasing as well. Oh, whoa! Oh. <laughs> Classic. Whenever you die, you'll respawn in one of the few designated spots in the city based on where and how you were killed. These will usually be the local hospitals, where they'll keep miraculously bringing you back to life every time. Your items and weapons will be confiscated. Don't worry about your modules or stats, though. Those can be altered only by you explicitly. 
Uh, if you also fail a mission, you can press R to restart it immediately if you want to jump right back in. Oh, that's nice, actually. Okay, so we flew off the edge, and then, and the second time, a cop just destroyed us. So, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to avoid killing all of the police officers for obvious reasons. But, uh, it seems as if <laughs> that's not going to be the way forward. Um, anything comes near me, I'm hammering it. And it's, it's game on. It's game on. Can I not go under these? Guess not, eh? Here we go. Okay, let's just hunt these androids. Oh. They don't stop. Oh, yeah, they do. Oh, sick. And we listen. And so the road oh, it's so super drifty, this one. one. You can walk. From above, we present the Prayer Box Traveler. This micro miracle brought the joy of... Oh, this is so fun to drive, man. And for a modern... Okay, so this is the problem here. I got cops everywhere. Okay, I did get the android. Now I need to get out of here. Don't mind me. Local authorities report that the number of violent incidents involving androids has recently skyrocketed. There's well, yeah, because Texas is in town. Against genuine law-abiding citizens, we believe the legislators need to seriously consider means of isolation, containment, and hopefully disposal. Yeah, maybe this is in safer. No, he's getting me. Wow, they just rip you out of the car. <laughs> That's sick, actually. That's so cool. These blue guys, what do they do? Yeah, I don't know, but... Oh! A motorcycle. Now I need to enter a specific car? Okay. I will say, like, it's it's very difficult with all the action to read the, uh, the messages that are coming in. Wow. Okay, what's Are the plan you now? Your thankless job while the Jerry sky Get it to the garage down. in one piece. Don't you wish you could just close your eyes and float away? Well, now you can. With the virtual vacation subscription module, you now, can do they know that this is me? I think so. Gardens and fragrant forests await you for as low as 30 credits per hour for the first week. Experience all manner of relaxing, enchanting locales. Oh no. <laughs> it's all just one blink away. Sick! Okay. Good job. You just earned yourself a new ability module. You can install it in the module menu and then test it out. By default, you activate it with right mouse button. Make sure to adjust your bindings in the settings if you wish to, if you prefer otherwise. Abilities will cost you focus, so use them sparingly. Buy yourself some refreshing drinks to regain focus, or go on a killing spree and watch it accumulate. Oh, lovely. And because we completed the, the contract, we lose our uh, wanted level. Very nice. Don't run me over. Use the tabs at the top of the screen to switch between the city map, character module, screen, and game settings. You can also either abandon contracts or instantly respawn from here. Take your time. Game is paused. Okay. Modules. So what are we looking at here? Hater X. Stay away from the hack target. Bonus hack. Frenzy. Okay, so we can go into either of these slots, I guess. Stay away from the hack target. Frenzy. Okay, so this probably just drives somebody, like, crazy, I imagine. Out of range. Uh, let's see what happens. Oh, sick. Yeah, okay. So we could cause some problems here. Several murder cases reported across the city? Huh, w weird. Very weird. Reapers, the sucker needs to be dispatched. The Reapers biker gang wants to see what you're made of. Or Plague, join the Android Liberation Front. Become a courier today. Oh, no. Uh, biker gang. Biker gang, definitely. Um, now, is there a map that I can find? Yes. 
Cities divide into small districts that are mostly controlled by gangs. Each gang might be your friend or foe based on storyline progression events, how you treat them. Love that. Make sure to familiarize yourself with the symbols on the left. You can learn more about each gang by visiting their base of operations. Start by checking out the item stores to see what they have to offer. Did you notice the minimap in the bottom right corner? It will show you the same stuff, only zoomed in. Okay. So if I wanted to find like a an item store or... Yeah, I guess like an item store would be good. We're way up here. Can we mark stuff? Not really. But we know that one is over here somewhere. Let's see if I can find something. We're heading towards the motorcycle gang anyway. Okay. We're on the right track. So you can see this must be our relationships with uh, with the different factions. Where is this thing? Huh. What the? F what is happening? If I don't find this soon, it's going to be bad news bears. Okay, it's to the right. Warehouse area. Here we go. Now, can I actually just use these on my own? Let's find out. Uh, settings, controls, use weapons, use skills, use items. That's just left clicking. Change weapon. Modules menu. Hmm. Do we just like, do we just click on it? Oh yeah, okay. Neat. So I guess the cops don't care about us killing these guys. And look, you can see, you can see our relationship dropping in this area uh, pretty heavily. Oh yeah, we'll take a flamethrower. Uh, let's max this out if we can. Whoa, jeez. <laughs> and I'm broke. And I'm down. Okay, how close are we? I'm pretty close. So this area is going to be a bit sweaty. Uh, this might even be the faction that I'm trying to take a job from here. The Reapers, yeah, it looks like the R there. So this is going to go great. I think we're trying to take these stairs, maybe? Yeah, nice. This is not something that I've seen very often where we have uh, verticality in these top-down games. User status hostile. You've been such a pain in the ass. There's a bounty on your head. Expect no further contracts unless you pay a fine. Not enough cash. <laughs> oh, that's actually really cool. Uh... Okay. Can I get any money from civilians? 18 bucks. Six. Okay, now we're talking. High rollers. It's pretty lawless out here. Which is, I guess, a good thing for me. What is this? Happy land? Okay, that's a module, but I need a thousand bucks to pay off these guys so that I could then work for them. <laughs> Let's see. Oh god. Pop's got money. Decent. We could probably just go do that. Oh no, not again. Okay, this is my nemesis. My nemesis is the edge of the map. Okay? That's my problem. That's my that's my problem. Let's go do the job for the other guys. Who we don't hate at this current moment in time. Uh, that's two deaths due to uh, map awareness. 
and one it stands due to an absolute to an underlying cause between these pummeling. Oh, oh, you, oh, oh I barely nicked you! I barely nicked you. growing along with the amount of oppressions affecting the android community. Boys, I'm here to deliver. Don't you wish you could just close your eyes and find your way? Well, now you can. See, this map edge is very sneaky. You can see blue skies and even blue seas. Colorful gardens and fragrant forests await you for as low as 30 credits per hour. Oh, look at that. Can I fly off the edge here? Virtual vacation. Without dying? Oh! Nice. That'll do. I just gotta make sure I don't accidentally kill any of these guys. If you have ever seen mommy or daddy's friends in a big Don't do it. Don't make me do it. Man, I gotta somehow find a way back here. Maybe I need to be up top. I mean, like, the, the slums. Okay, here we go. We're going up. This is pretty fun, man. I don't know what the price is going to be of the game. Uh, I, it's not out yet. So nothing's published, but... Yeah, this is good. This could be enjoyable. Okay, special delivery. Join the Android Liberation. Become a courier. Each gang has a relationship with you. Yeah, we figured that out. Um, if you get an offer from a gang to get a contract, despite having a bad relationship, you can pay the bounty in order to take the job on and to not be threatened. We just learned that. Killing members of one gang will increase your respect with other gang's members, so they will tolerate your bad behavior for longer than neutral or enemy gangs. You can observe your gang relationship status on the left side of the screen under your character status. Mm -hmm. If you ever see a lock icon... That means you can only affect it through story progression, not through actions in the streets. Hello, Ivy. Let me explain. We not only help androids survive here, we also do our best to rebuild society as a whole. That's why we started running a rehab center recently as part of a bigger plan called Brave New Life. Most of these people are so heavily addicted, the only way to motivate them is to provide something even stronger than their usual stimuli. But it's for the greater good. Get in the car. The samples are inside. You got it. You got it. I'll st stock up on these bad boys. This one looks, this looks quick. As android scum raises again in accordance with this. Don't attract any attention from police. Oh yeah. That's my specialty. For him to judge the living and the dead is to live with us in pain. That has no end. I believe in the neuro spirit, the messiah, the bringer of death, who proceeds to lay down heretics as the eternal fire burns on. For the blasphemy is not to be forgiven nor glorified. For every enemy of our God shall drown no! in blood. I believe in our God and no one. We others confess, but only we are truly <laughs> Don't attract attention, they said. To our nation's resurrection. Pure and united, it shall forever be. <laughs> I think that's, yeah, if I fall in there, that's bad news. There is this little feature where it kind of snaps us into the, um, into the lanes. Which is helpful. But it can sometimes be difficult to see what plane you're on. There you go! Sprint target from reaching location. Do, you Do not violate the law in the process. Well, oh, they don't know how difficult that is. We've clearly violated it. Oh, he was right there. Okay, this is like, there's some challenging aspects, man. Oh, I have to dismount first. There's some really challenging aspects here. This is not easy by any stretch of the imagination. Okay, we'll try this again. We'll see if we can make a swift delivery here. 
without attracting and incorporated as assets the attention of the cops. And today, as a special addition to the new issue of My Life in Society, you're going to see a very a calm, very calculated approach here. Users get access to private data of all androids who are registered as potential criminals, which encompasses about 95% hey, of that's a cop. Do city. not hit. Make sure to provide detailed reports to police and any suspect activity of non humans in the area to take part. It's super nice that it snaps you into that lane. Experience. Check today if your robot neighbor is a soon-to-be criminal. This was Rachel Gruber for ICL News. Make it a great day. I should almost wait until the... Until the wanted level drops. Virtual vacation subscription module. How am I going to not violate the law? Colorful gardens and fragrant forests await you. No challenging this is. Hour for the first week. Experience all manner of relaxing, enchanting locales. Virtual vacation. It's all just one blink away. I'm sure, like destruction of property is fine. Today, <laughs> got him. Deliver the second sample. Don't attract the attention of the law. Come on, man. Where am I going? Oh, is it right here? Third client mentioned he's in a hurry. Don't keep him waiting. Don't raise your wanted level. Okay. Now, here's where you can be a neighborhood hero. With your com chip, you can ping a local police station and let them know that the adults are acting silly and where Man, they are. Man, it sounds right like now, such a dumb thing to keep way, harping on, the but the fact that we can kind of snap into a lane is really nice Remember, for a game like this, where it can be kind of hard to control procure. stuff sometimes. Our gang disputes keeping you up at night. <sighs> Did you buy the wrong cable for your power nap? Fret no more. For now, you can buy. Die. Is highly experimental. I'm just worried that I'm going to go flying off the edge here. Into a no more shall you toss and turn to the beat of your machine gun fire. I feel so Thanks to your highly Oh, we're up top. Okay. And we are getting a couple of like little uh, frame hitches and stuff. But hopefully that can get ironed out. Because it, it is a little distracting. Leave the area protect yourself by any means necessary. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Electromagnetic waves generated by a discharge from rival are greater magnitude than See ya. anticipated. For your own sake, lose the chase. The Look up the location of the nearest mod garage on the map. Okay, mod garage. Uh, okay, actually, right south of where we are. Yeah, see how it's like hitching there? I don't love that. It only started after a bit, but they got to fix that up for sure. Uh, we're close. Oh, it's on the opposite side. No! Don't get me! Don't do it. Disregarded and actively has prolonged exposure to gamma induced stimuli reported the results in and There we go, baby. Okay. Back to regularly scheduled programming. Uh, this is really fun. This, I like, I'm having a great time. I can see the appeal of this, especially if you like those old school Grand Theft Auto games. Yeah, very fun. There are some technical things like those hitches that we're seeing here towards the latter half of the, of the uh, session that they need to figure out, but I'm sure that'll get resolved in the early access period. Also seems like there's a lot of potential for different areas and things like that. I would like to see them differentiate like those, um, those drop zones, because you're moving very quickly. And when you just like fall off the edge, it's very disorienting. Uh, but it's worth it for now, I think.
So Not I'll put up with that to enjoy this. And I'm curious to see where this goes. I might track this throughout early access and come back to this later. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll have links down below for you to check out for yourself. This has been Glitchpunk. Thanks to Daedalic Entertainment again for providing me with the key and uh, letting me show this to you a little bit earlier. Thanks, guys. Bye for now.